Okay, session two. I did a little bad on last time is not introducing myself and the players. So, so I'm going to do it this time. Um, my name's Adam. I'm DMing the game. I'm playing all of the creatures and stuff that hopefully not going to meet such a strange in as the last time. And starting... Start at my right. This guy to my left is off getting cake. Uh, well, since the Admiral is going to be late, uh, I am a uh, player and character. Either way. I'm fine with both. Uh, I am Jason, and I play Sir Hano, the Samsaran Bard, uh, which is the most confusing bard, not a wizard, uh, I've ever played. Uh, he is the person in charge when the person in charge is not here. Uh, and I think that's okay. We have, we have been alive. We have stayed alive that way. <laughs> Uh, who needs healers? <laughs> we do. We just have a bard. We have, have a healer. I like healing. Hello. We have a healer besides that. Are you a healer again? But, uh, no. but that's beside the point. Uh, anything else you want us to add? Oh, uh, somehow besides I, the fact I'm a bard, I have one of the highest HPs of the party. <laughs> <laughs> Still so not... Now? I am at, after rolling max HP again, 63. <laughs> For a level 8 bard. Con artist. I have a... My con is at 12. <laughs> it is not my con that gets me that high. It's just been some really great dialogue. Just really good luck. <laughs> yeah, aren't most things that get you high at fortitude save? What? Hmm? Shush you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Eat your cake. One of those plus one. Uh, anything else? Uh, maybe explain them what the Samsaran is. Race. Uh, right. Since it is one of the ones from the uh, advanced race guide, the Samsaran's one of the uh, new races that's been added to Pathfinder. It's uh, it's a fun one. I, I've been having fun with it. Uh, it is a race that remembers its past lives and that is part of it's really why the bard is able to cast some of the spells it's able to uh, I have access to fireball fly and magic missile despite it not normally being in the bard's repertoire and he uses more than his bard spells well to be fair I have used some of my bard spells pretty pretty well too whole person has been pretty okay, useful yes. Not to mention uh, create magic map. Yes, and create treasure map. <laughs> we have used a lot of create treasure map. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the Samsaran, uh, one of its special racial abilities, uh, in fact, it replaces uh, one of the racial abilities it would normally have, is Arcane Past Life. If you're, a, if you're starting as a magic caster, you can choose to have as your uh, racial ability uh, remembering spells from a past life from another spell class you take one plus your casting modifier from when you start which when I started was three uh, so I got four I got to pick four spells from another spell list and didn't matter what level it was they just got to be added to the spells I could choose from when I leveled so, I picked Magic Missile, Fireball, Fly, and Teleport when I eventually get up that high. The glorious time that will be. Yes. It's been a glorious time with Fireball. We haven't had that many uses of it. We've had two, I think. Hmm? Was there was a night you almost two, died. Two and a half. What was that? Oh, right. I wasn't here for one of them. I forgot about that. Yeah, we used both castings of it. Every Three time. and a half. Because cause I missed with the monk. And it wouldn't have been important anyway because he died before we could use it. Uh, 
missed one. Uh, but main the uh, the main strength of Cyril hasn't even been his spells. It's been uh, the bard's main ability of being the best at knowing everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, most of these things are just okay. You already know this. Yes. Um, uh, uh, the, the the DM has been kind enough to just let me know if I already know the stuff because my lowest knowledge now since I can take 10 on anything that's a knowledge check is a 23 so uh, that that is Searle uh, he oh Samsarans are all blue their, their skins are blue and they all have about the same colored hair, I think, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong on that part. Uh, but uh, Cyril, in any case, has white hair. And we have, uh, he has been dubbed the nickname Papa Smurf. <coughs> Dark hair, solid white eyes, no pupils or irises. I think we just decided he had white yeah, hair anyway. He's old. Uh, Fair enough. And they hail from uh, the Xion, the Xion Du region of uh, Pathfinder's uh, glorious map. And one of the original <coughs> members of the crew. Yes, yes, one of the three still, three, three and a half remaining members of the original crew. He's the first member of the DK crew. Oh lord, please now. Three and a half. The, the Admiral still shows up from time to time. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a short joke. It's not a short joke. If it was a short... It, was, it would have been a short joke if uh, the other member was a halfling or a uh, no. He was a dwarf, so... You know, like his old characters sure. were. It, it, it would have been a short, short joke if he said, like, uh, three quarters or something. Yeah. <laughs> three, three, and three, quarters. three and three quarters. <laughs> That's what we say for rally when we go to restaurants. Uh, two and a third. Uh, I pick Bard because I'm I normally play Bards, but this is definitely the most combaty Bard I've ever played. <laughs> so Fireball. normally I stick in the back and just let oh, Inspire Bard. Courage do what it does, which this, which all, is also what Searle does. But uh, that's that's pretty much it. All right. Um, my name is Garrett, and I'm a little less interesting. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little more true. simple. Nonsense. Um, I am the human female druid who enjoys long walks on the beach, calling down thunderous lightning, and apparently, uh, as of late, uh, swarms of rape monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> What's not to enjoy? Exactly. Monkeys. We would have a great night together, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um... Him and all the simian friends. I wrote. Yeah. And I like... Well, her. Plants and water and things. Speaking of... You. And Bismara. The, what is she? The, she's the goddess of the sea and... She's the goddess pirates. of pirates and abominations of the sea. Abominations of the sea. Let me check. Like so, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Close. Okay. She's the Cthulhu. 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 Let's, mm. let's not run into mm. that. <laughs> No. I'm sure. Yeah, crack, I'm, take... I'm sure a cracking will appear somewhere. What was that thing we almost bought? Death I got you. Atlas or something? Okay. Yeah, oh, was was We're always fighting death. What Cthulhu you... with the beholder familiar. Seriously. Oh, thanks. By the way, your um, crazy monkeys made the cat how do you laugh so hard again? that he actually gave up e his e turn. S M A R A laugh because he was leaning on a car. He's trying. She's one of the breathless. Like, what the fuck is going on right now? Yeah. She made me. I made sure to, to keep that spell. Uh, piracy, like, sea monsters, him. and strife. I saw him coming off the roof, and then I turned the corner, mm. and he's being raped by the monkeys. Or the admiral so likes this guy so much. Flying above his <laughs> yeah. Here. Uh, he's all three of them. Yeah. See, right. Yeah. She seems to be the most, I guess, worshipped goddess of the group. I think I'm the only one who doesn't, if I'm correct. No. Um. Is your new guy a bet worshiper? My new guy is... Probably not. 
somewhat blessed by her, but also more wants to be like Gazra. Woohoo! Follow this man. Yeah, thank you really are. Go Gozra. Follower, You're also follower. a follower, follower of Gozra? I'm original follower of Gozra. It's <laughs> OG. Yeah, OG. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jay. <laughs> and my druid is not an original member of the party. That would be my monk, Balda, who decided after punching a guy's heart out, that it was time to leave. <laughs> I forgot that happened. With with his, with oh my god, I forgot that happened. Slump, after, after, yeah, after I rolled a crit and punched the guy's heart out, Balder decided that this was not the life for him. And he took his buddy Owlbear off into the sunset to train after fighting the captain. Not an Owlbear. The not guy's. An Owlbear, yes. A guy named Owlbear who was not very intelligent. But oh. Okay, strong. that but, explains but, yeah. quite a few things that I've heard since coming in. <laughs> but full of so much heart. Oh yes. yeah, of course. That Can that guy's it. heart, especially that you punched out. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he, he ate it. it. <laughs> he, 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 he ate his power. It. His rich, tasty power. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's that's about it. Catboy. Catboy. <laughs> Kitty. My name is Justin, and um, my character is a catfolk fighter. Named Shadow, who is a follower of Besmir now. He wields a Bardich at times, and other times he wields a Trident that turns people to coral slowly. Um, pretty much it. Has strength at 20. He's mostly the guy who just runs in and chops people to pieces. He's Until he drops his weapon. Or throws it over the boat. <laughs> or throws it off the boat. I love, finally decided to tie a rope to the Bardich. Do we have really a tried it? Do we have a count for how many times you've thrown the weapon? So oh, is that is it's that canon? Five. Like, is that something we've actually done? Yes, so you, you I have, have like, tied a rope you have to like my trident. remote controller, to the trident. so you don't throw it into yeah, the my, to the trident. My trident has okay. a normal rope, no thick, no nothing, just a normal rope tied okay. to it. Takes a negative what two? You said or four? Mm. I'll say two. Negative two to throwing it. That's what I'm saying. If you're like tying like a. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a short length of silken rope or something like that. That's literally what it's for. <laughs> so, he, um, his main tactic is usually to throw the trident and get that initial slow damage. Because the trident applies slow damage as it turns the person to coral. It also applies dex damage. Um, or excuse me, applies slow with dex damage. And then draw his Bardich, which would now be a lot easier now that I have quick draw. That's delicious. Um, and attack at range, or reach. Um, he wears a Buccaneer's Breastplate mm. so he can walk an inch above water. And that's about it. Or your Cutlass. Or my Cutlass. I have a Ghost Touch Cutlass Masterwork plus one. And... Um, he has he has claws, which eventually I hope to turn into eldritch claws, so that they're silver and magic, or they act as silver and magic. Have you even used them yet? No, <laughs> I have. I have used no. them actually. What? I have. I think an early when we early were battle. like one turn, we got caught without our weapons or not drawn, so I was like. You used them when we got Shanghai. Oh, right, when we were all yeah, un we were like under dealing, deck. We were all deciding not to deal lethal damage at first, and then we were like, okay, we're dealing lethal damage, and I'm like, okay. And started dealing lethal Okay, damage. that's right. No, it was... No, we're, we're not going to do lethal damage. We're just oh, they're doing, oh, they're doing... Cap <laughs> yeah, Captain, Captain Ice Spike, that never happened. <laughs> okay, we're going to deal lethal damage. <laughs> That totally didn't happen. Yeah. I spike that never happened. Hey, but it did manage to convince you to l use lethal damage. We thought it happened. It was illusion. Actually, none of them were... I never did. Yeah, yeah none I of them were killed either. that fight, I, was a, so. I really... I never killed them, but I did do lethal damage. I know that one attack. That was the only hit that dealt lethal damage. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they I, were pretty ready to kill My character too. is oh. mostly the climber of the group because he has a 14 to climb. And... That's about it. He's the strong guy who smashes things up when people need stuff smashed. Cut off a giant wooden statue's legs. 
Accurate. These are damage and mm -hmm. almost tank. Almost what tank. is you? What is your AC right now? My AC is a 21. My health is a 75. Yeah, that's tankish. Mm -hmm. I mean, the closest one is... My AC is 20. <laughs> rogue. Rogue is AC of 23. <laughs> uh, tank rogue. Rogue! I'm the rogue that makes no sense. <laughs> Our whole party makes no sense. The party no rogue! <laughs> The whole party. Man, the whole party makes sense. He is no a party sense. rogue that disappears while wearing a sombrero. You have a you have a ro you have a bard that charges into combat. That's true. Or battle bard. Beer dives through the air. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead. It makes the whole group makes no sense, man. <laughs> this whole group's awesome. I know. I know it make no sense, but I took one random level in like cleric. No! Don't, don't do that. That would be no sense. I, I think I'm the only person in the party now that is cross-classed. You have? Yeah, that's what I did with this level. Oh, what did you go into? Assassin. Oh! Well, you yes. prestige class. Yeah. Prestige sorry. class. That's what it is. It's a bit different. Yeah. A, one question I had to ask was, it says here with level 1 in Assassin, I get sneak attack 1d6. It yeah, adds to that's, your... It'll that's stack. My question. So now it's an additional d6. It will, it will stack yeah. with your other... Oh, <laughs> And for the listeners, I um, waived the um, evil requirement because he has a collection of <laughs> trophies. <laughs> trophies. From, from the enemies. major kills of the party. Mostly heads. He is an assassin. <laughs> but So you're, you're like the governor in Walking Dead who has a collection of Yes, of that heads. is my television. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> But anyway, I'm Jay. Um, I am the rogue that makes absolutely no damn sense. I, I think have the highest HP in the party and the highest armor class in the party. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> Seriously, a, a rogue, at, well, level one, and then assassin level, or rogue level seven, assassin level one, with seventy-eight health and twenty-three armor classes. A little nuts. Yeah. Yeah, but. <clears throat> Sometimes it helps. I have been brought down to almost dead one time. That's how the die roll. When he rolls critical, he deals almost as much damage as the fighter normally does. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks is I have to crit to kill things. But when I kill things, I kill them gloriously and then take parts of them. Yeah, but usually... But now you won't be able to because you'll turn them to ash. No, that's, yeah. that's way late for an assassin. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. I think I'm just going to stick with one level just to have the... Uh, <laughs> I still attack you. Um, you didn't die, but you're dead, though. Okay. I didn't do enough damage to kill you, but you're dead. Yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted, Assassin. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're in Port Peril, talking to someone who said, Yeah, can I learn that, that part? Okay. <laughs> pretty much. Um, I am one of the original members of the crew. Me and the Admiral get along quite well because we're both <laughs> slightly insane and quote we, unquote slightly. <laughs> quote we love the hell out of very, very loosely using the word slightly. I quote unquote murderous. <laughs> I'm the first mate on our second ship. Yes. Under the glorious Blue Man group. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice timing. <laughs> I need to take percussion. Person next. in the party. <laughs> that should be my next performance. Because his character and I seem to get along pretty well. Not Chloe Hands? No, she's Chloe party. Hands is not a member of the party. Chloe party. Hands is. Um, Crew. I was mixing my party. Your party. She's, she's <laughs> a girl. That's apparently what's happening now. Favorite person she's in the not boat. a member of your party. She is your party. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, outside of that, I just enjoy killing things and trying to be useful for the party, which. My combat style is I took magical spells because apparently rogues can do that, and I go poof, and then you don't see me anymore, and then suddenly I'm behind something and stabbing it really, really hard. They have this sudden pain in the neck. Also, the ladies. <laughs> and the ladies, yes, rogues do it from behind. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. So I guess it's my turn. I'm Lucas. I am a fairly recent comer to this group. I am playing the part of Ushio, a Kitsune Oracle, who only speaks in fish or demon in, during combat. Oh, okay. I 
think that's the first time we heard the character's <laughs> name. I, I told you. I told yeah. you last week. No, you didn't. Yes. I think you did. Check the recording. I believe it. Yeah, yeah I, I did. Just, we just weren't paying attention on the audio. I we certainly did. don't remember asking for it. <laughs> yeah, we were all tangled. Yeah, tangled. I don't think I've ever asked tangled for it, but <laughs> we were all caught up in conversation and I, the admiral showed. Up. Yeah, I gave up my Dramatic. teeth and biting attack for in exchange for an extra magical tail. <laughs> <laughs> Because that seems like a fair trade. <laughs> what does this extra magical tail do? Is it? It casts confused twice per day. It, it's so cast, it is as confusing as it seems. <laughs> it, it's it's cast confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> when, when he casts confused, he uses. You can cosplay as Sonic's best friend. Does <laughs> <laughs> it let you fly? Oh God. no! Oh. I'll look up. I'll look up how to build a anthropomorphic hedgehog, and that would be great. <laughs> I do have to ask, what the hell is up with the Furbies? Like, everybody's making Furbies. Hey, I was the original. I'm okay. not Furby. <laughs> Technically, you kind of are. Yeah, you turn into all sorts of Furbies. <laughs> <laughs> I turn into Furbies, once. Furbies, so, so half, the, half the crew here is Furbies. Two and a half, two and a half. Mm -hmm. I can actually half. turn into huge Furbies now. At level eight. Oh, yeah, you're... You're to the point it's going to be nice for you. <laughs> I sense dire badgers in our future. Half of our crew is animals. Well, that's what I just said. Oh boy. So, that's the crew. Uh, Less the batshit crazy admiral. No. Yes, who should be here at some point. <laughs> Alright, 21. I would say about 25. Be a good cut point on that. Yeah, he probably he said if he if he's um heading from work it'll be about eight thirty get out and right. so he'll try to get straight to here from there, right? Which is right around the corner, basically. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, yes, it is. I'm just going to keep it. Anything special? Just try to talk quiet, someone. Hmm. After last week's, <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I'm just too lazy to. And I don't have an actual um, audio cutter. Yeah, I'll have to download one at some point. I wish I could give you the software, the program that was on my laptop that I used in Afghanistan to edit my uh, controlled <coughs> debt videos. It's real nice. I got it, like perfect where I wanted it, so it's only like ten seconds away from the actual explosion, all the way to where the hand puff flies down. Because yeah. when, when we moved, the camera fell. And you should have. Yeah. Do you not have Windows uh, Movie Maker? It usually comes on computers. That's yeah, it but was. it's, um, the audio is aggravating. Uh -oh. <laughs> it wasn't for this one, it was all years. Go! <laughs> and I just haven't had the patience to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had, it was a, I have a, had a rogue program that I've removed that was making things aggravating. There we go. Actually rolling. I don't think you would. I'm just going to it. But no, they don't ever take care of score out. Okay, uh, to catch up. Y'all been to. We convinced the racist assassin to join our crew with intimidation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and honestly, Not you. that kind of wouldn't really have. I, a if sniper. I was keeping that guy sniper. in character, he probably would have joined the crew because he he left he left his he um, walked out of his original country just because they were um, letting in um an, other human races that he didn't like. <laughs> but, yes, but his but his original country didn't first have him assaulted by monkeys and then threatened to kill him if he didn't join. It's true. You don't well, know that. We didn't threaten to kill him, did we? Yes, we did. Oh, we did. Yes. Oh. We totally oh, yeah, did. That's right. I rolled for no, that. we straight up totally threatened to kill him. Yeah. I rolled for that. I was just gonna no, say he killed he himself. No, he tried to kill himself. We yeah. revived him. Yeah. So he, he killed himself and yeah. then we revived him. But and then threatened to kill him worse if if he didn't join us. We were just yeah. gonna unleash that, the monkeys on him. Again. Yeah, that was it. We didn't threaten to kill him, we threatened him with Actually, a shape worse than that. Death. But let's see, we've to been to went to Drinksport. Where you got the names for people in 
Captain was gonna get, Admiral was gonna kill Hall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the threat. Yeah. Um, that's right. Once I heard that, I threw out my roll because I did a, pro- a probability roll that if I decided that if y'all decided to kill him, I was just gonna be like, yeah, no, no, no. And it would have been coup de dodge. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> they wouldn't know. Yeah, Hell Harbor. We didn't bother going to. Uh, Marina Kellett because they wanted to go after the bird guy first who answered the door had his head blown off by the we still earlier assassin like yeah who he was quickly caught and gave up his secrets and told us that she was dead yeah he took care of her uh would have followed up on that did we end so wait who's that convincing him to join the her? other person that we found out was yeah. on this island Naga? No. No, not the Naga. The Naga is way, way, way okay. to the south. Okay, the, the I, other, other, I remember. Yeah. The other woman that he <laughs> okay. assassinated. Uh, the Tengu was this guy's uh, Mark. ally. Oh. The, the woman was the ally of the person he was... Um, what was the name of the dude? Something of storms. Hmm. Oh, he the uh, which? Let me pick him up because he's actually in here. Here's a master of gales. Master of gales. He's he's one of the major pirate lords. Right. And she's connected to him. Hmm. No, he no. Was, they are spying on him. Right. Okay. He's he was. Mm-hmm. So the guy in Bridgeport was giving her the information through the Tengu. Uh, the Tengu and her. Okay. Tengu just uh, he was right, right, he would occasionally go out on the <laughs> go out the on spying missions. With okay. But yeah, follow up just to make sure. Is she dead? I'm yeah. Really nice. my okay, up. yeah, she's dead too. That's my regular attack. He took care of her. That's what I'm kind of like. Uh, uh, no, her flanking her behind somebody. Uh, if you're looking for where to find her, it's a diplomacy check. <clears throat> just asking around town. Oh, you really? And probably going to get him. It's DC 10 at this point. Got it. Point. At this point in time, diplomacy is DC 10 is pretty easy. Yes. I mean, she's this is my well known. They the point you out to a couple of uh, da, 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 warehouses. All right. But they say they she she's gone yeah. missing recently. No one's seen her for a while. Well, going I just into the warehouse. The attack this sometimes fails. The victim makes her safe. Yes. Hey, that's my damage. Normal damage. Yeah. We do have to spend three rounds studying. That's the dex damage. You got the, the warehouses of guns. When you get there, you see that it's also deals damage pretty barren. All the goods that were, should be in it are out. Basically, she's died. Ale want to take over. People have pretty quickly to take over the business. Okay. Yeah, over. You can tell someone's been searching through. Probably, most likely, it was the guards you or may have picked up. That town guards have already been look, looking for her. Uh, checking out her office. Yes. Yeah, you look through. There's some shipping manifest, uh, merchandise papers scattered around. Nothing that seemed to really incriminate her. Uh, I was gonna take this. Give ball, me a. Uh, convince me to take a. Uh, perception check. Guardian of Faith instead. All of us. Or just him. Huh. Uh, you could, if you're searching around the office. Yeah. I, I didn't even realize. Like, I'm gonna act like I know what's going ah, on. Twenty five. I rolled a nat twenty, so I think I see everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna see everything too. What do you see when you roguish eyes? 
I rolled 19. I just see all the shiny things that are worth money. I rolled a 31. 19. Okay. My base perception is 16, so... <laughs> yeah, Rogue and... Rogue will probably have seen it first, because I'm pretty sure you have more than 11 points. <laughs> yeah, I have 13. Okay. You see it first. Uh, you see a... A ledger, a ledger, listing uh, numerous, <coughs> listing the names of numerous uh, pirate lords of the shackles, each with a large number beside it. And you can make a praise or linguistics check to work out what the numbers may mean. Oh yeah, you're not big on a praise anymore, are you? Because no, my appraise is... I could appraise the hell out of something. Well, right. or, or, or I can, or I can <coughs> just do a linguistics. You're trying to work out what, the, what, what these numbers I, may mean. I can't do either. 30. Those are 20. Linguistics. You think they may be like uh, just notes on what it would take to either bribe these pirate lords or bribe their crews to take over the ship? Put them on the side of whoever's on the spy ring. That's not mine. Anything else from the logistics check? Uh, uh, no, but you do notice one of the names stands out above the others. Because his entry only has a dash rather than a number next to it. Uh... Arax Indy Menon. Who is that? I will spell it out. A R R O N A X. Okay. E N D Y M I O N. E N D I M I O N. It was like, wow. They just went. Spell that name. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, Endymion. That's great. I know he's he's one of the he's one of the pirate lords. Uh, Ardex Endymion. Okay, why is he untouchable? <laughs> that's what that's what the line is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The, the meaning of this entry is that the Chartist government is, his only acceptable fate is capture, trial, torture, and public execution. Hmm. I like this guy. You really want him dead. I like this and picture. scribbled on the bottom of the page is a single line Sin with Corlin. The kidney that you just saw his head explode. Hmm. Corland? Corland. Corland. Okay. Basically, the, there's the Kenyu. The Tengu. Tengu that you just saw get killed. He was. Mecha Tengu. Huh. Mecha Tengu. How good is your disguise? Not very. Wait, you can try to disguise him as a Tengu? I don't have uh, it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Seven. Okay. You already know who they're sending it to. The what's her face at the pot carry. And the assassin just told you she's the one who paid him to kill these guys off. So trying to sneak in as a tingu <laughs> probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the best idea. Rogue. I could just damn our assassin. Dead. Let's like take care of I'd have a better chance of walking around in their stealth than nobody yeah. seeing me. Yeah, much harder. Hmm. That's basically all the information get off still of that. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> no. All right, let's get going. I can take a. I have a. Guys, the guys, so the cat's is... offering to assist me with my stealth again. <laughs> stealth to where? To the it was sarcasm. I remember what happened last time he tried to help me. <laughs> yeah. I turned into Jesus and got caught. It took years. It took days to get the fur out of the armor. 
Okay, you have the choice of heading back to Port Peril to confront to confront the what's her face? Yeah. <laughs> I'll turn this way because it's probably closer. Still a minute. Zarska. Gelimar, Gelimbar. Mm-hmm. At the her apothecary, or you can. Go out on the lead of the Naga, who is really far to the south. <laughs> and the Naga was just more information on the spies? Yeah. Well, isn't, port, isn't going is, to Port Peril on the way towards the Naga? No. Roughly? No, it's like hey, this way. It's that way. As of right now, you are here. Port Peril is just quick to the south. And. Yeah, like I'm oh, saying. So yeah. Like, we need. Like, we we end up basically going mm-hmm. past Port we'll Peril, yeah. going towards the snow. True, but we could go all the way down, get all the information, and then come back up and deal with it. Is the apothecary time sensitive? No. Okay. The regatta isn't even. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say that y'all been catching. We ha- we know about the regatta. I have been told y'all about the yeah regatta. Okay. Wait. Boat race. Oh yeah. And now that we've got that super awesome steering wheel, we totally want to enter. Yeah, you've been hearing us just a cool thing for the. That's that's why I was going to take heavy water. Oh yeah, for the boat race. Heavy water has. Uh, yeah, you told us. Okay. Uh, crew wants to do the naga. Let's do the naga. Oh yeah. Okay. Love that snake half. Of course you do. What really does it for me is the like part where it transitions from snake to not snake. That that, that just that section. Or the flesh and the scales blend, and you can't tell where one ends, the other beginning. He likes to, to he on. likes to lick yeah. the line. Cloaca. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's going, going on with that? I, I, I think the snakes have. Oh, yeah. I think the snakes <laughs> have a cloaca. Something like that. I I I feel like I've become like. Less immune to you guys. We've missed you. <laughs> You've become a recent <laughs> host. Yeah. Basically. It's like, please stop. This is, this is disturbing. Like, what's going oh, on anymore? Have a I don't even know you people. <laughs> Alright, we sell out of Hell Harbor. Go to the south west. We'll be honest, when we walked in and I saw you sitting, I was like, did we get a new player? <laughs> oh. Thanks. Well, last time I saw him, he was all full beard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just walked in. because me and Brandon shaved at the exact same time and we didn't even know it. <laughs> so Brandon's gonna look pretty hairless too. Oh man, he was really he looking was, the yeah, part he of was uh-huh. rocking it. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Aha. Unfortunately. Snakes do have a cloaca. Yes. That's great news. Yeah, something like that. And male snakes also have two penises. Yeah, penis. Hemi penis. Yes. Oh right. boy. Gotta love Put me down by that. Is it the water over there? <coughs> There's food. No water. water. Okay, close murder. Sickens. Nuggets of the slipping stones. Following Slip's directions, he sailed to a shallow cove in the on the Slytherin coast, where the Naga Sarlis resides. You venture ashore. <coughs> Friendly herb. Let's see, a lone tree atop a hillock is. I don't. The lone tree. Okay, you're looking for a tree. Looking for a lone tree? Yeah, that's a uh, old <coughs> Jokomesh plant. Enormous leaves clearly visible from the shoreline. So you can tell where to go. Oh, so it should, it should be Bats. hard to find. Yeah. Quick, to the tree. What? To the marshy jungle, oh, mouth of its stream. Ask it for its secrets. So you see if we have a naga in my minis. No, you fool. Can't you tell? I am the scarlet... Who? 
Oh, good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Who are you? Are those minis going to be us Scarlet. or enemies? Mm-hmm. Are those minis going to be us or enemies? <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm better. <laughs> I could find my box with the better choices, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming the one with the pole arm is me. Yeah. As soon as I had a hill part of my pretzel. That didn't feel good. <laughs> no, the, the greatest laugh is from that, that line from last night. Excuse me. It's like a Joker Riddler and Megan Fox had a crazy orgy and made this dungeon. <sighs> yep. <laughs> oh, well, I don't need that many right now. I'm trying to think of which one of those three I'd rather be in that situation. <laughs> Would you want to be Megan Fox? I don't know. It's a Joker and the Riddler. I mean... I feel like the Joker has the least chance of dying in that situation, but the Do Riddler would be able to understand it more and have more fun. You get up to the pole where you should, you believe you're going to find her. I believe uh, we're going to find her. Uh, yeah, soon, like five to ten minutes later, <clears throat> she burst out of the water. Holy shit, there's a giant snake person. Don't attack the giant snake person. She's swaying around, pissing. Hi, Dollar Seems Dollar. really angry. Hello. Uh, hey, Bard. What did Bard, Bard you got this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of. What are you doing here? Now you can, you can do a sense motive if you wish to see something. Um, I'm I'll try. I'll sense motive. Fourteen. Doubt Twenty-six. It. Ooh, that's probably I have no bonus to sense motive. 30. 20. Nat 1. Nat 1. Wow. You're scared. It's your best <laughs> friend. You're scared. You think she's about to That one was going to eat you. But. Snake eating a fox. What the other numbers? She's running away. She's going to eat you. I start. Just got it. I start. Yeah, uh, you're, you're. I start battling The rogue's kind of used to things being angry and. You yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. Especially it's, around him. We've all met our admiral. It, it's not. <laughs> you can tell that she's. While she's probably perturbed that you have gotten to her area, it's this anger may be directed elsewhere. Well, You're not the three of y'all worked it out. It was a DC twenty. The... Yeah, I'll say I'm a fourteen. I don't get it. I'm over in the corner, cowering in abyssal. <laughs> Let's get the sand out of your cloaca. Um, <laughs> Fox try, get back here. Fox try. <laughs> So who's going to ask her what's wrong? He is. Uh, um, let's, let's say that you know well about that. Hey, what's up? It is a female Naga, right? They're all female, right? Yeah, female. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, pardon me. What um, language? What, what, what language do they speak, Adam? Uh, you know that she speaks... Auckland, probably? Right? Yeah, she speaks Auckland, for sure. Oh, I speak Auckland, so I'll understand too. I, 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 I speak in Auckland, then. Okay. Uh... Pardon me, madam. What seems to be the trouble? <laughs> I start pleading for my life in Aquin. <laughs> and I was like, well, let's do it with a better tack then. Hey, what's <laughs> up? Blah, 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 you, yeah, as of right now, you're face. getting a plus four. Does anyone want right. to play drink? Because you're yes, speaking yes. awkward and else? you're asking her what's wrong. Dr. Pepper? I'm okay. Sure. Uh, Actually, wait. We have tea. I'll take tea. I'll make it. Okay. Dr. Pepper? Dr. Okay. Yeah. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. No? Okay. And 13 plus okay. 15 is 28 plus 4 is 32. Woo! You want ice? <laughs> <laughs> Thank ice. goodness for... Oh, it was a DC 29. <laughs> Are they cold yet? So she begins She begins to calm down. As cold as look at you. Or maybe it's just me. I, I don't know. I don't need any liquor either. Thank mm. God for lingering for, for, for a versatile performance. So yeah. I don't have to put ranks into that shit. <laughs> One rank in linguistics. Luckily you have an attack. All the ranks in. One rank into my perform. And goes into two skills. Covers, covers three skills essentially. Covers my performance two other skills. 
<laughs> Are they? And rogues think they're the skill junkies of the game. <laughs> With their 8 plus int. <laughs> First, why have you intruded to my domain? Well, she seems pretty pissed. Let's go. <laughs> Just run away. So my, mine was. Told us. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, yeah, I'm a small furry woodland creature. I'm assuming eating. she's speaking Aquan. Yeah. Do you speak Aquan now? I oh, don't. sweet. Uh, Three of us can Aquan each other. I, I speak Aquan. Four, four of us can Aquan each other. That's awkward. You can just leave the captain and the cowboy out of it. Uh, <laughs> they can I would assume the captain has Aquan. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how to specifically take it. Because I don't think his int is too high. Uh. Isn't. Wait a minute. Cats. His sheet is so much crap. Yeah, his sheet's right. <laughs> is he leveled up to eight, though? Here you go. 